<laughs> boar hunting? I don't think so. <laughs> no. Not yet. They're not, not boar yet. hunters yet? No. No. They, <laughs> they hunt little doggies. <laughs> oh, wow. Little, little puppy dogs. <laughs> right now, they're hunting puppy dogs. <laughs> but guess what? They played solid defense. They played in a hostile environment against a really good offense, and they did a solid job. They just have to be better at make, coming up with plays. Charles Woodson is one of the best in the NFL. Well, guess what? I didn't really see him other than making tackles 10 yards down the field. I need to see him make a play, Lo. Yeah, and, I, and to, 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 to kind of echo that, I saw Tarver, a defensive coordinator that was fired up, running almost on the field a couple times. I saw some guys were disciplined in their lane, but I saw cover zero a couple times. We <coughs> saw Reggie Wayne being able to cut through cover zero. No one bumps him. Their lack of communication, breakdown in fundamentals a couple times. But overall, to go into Lucas Stadium to play against a team that went 7-1 and one at home, I thought they played big, and I thought they played well enough to win just lost that turnover battle. I think if they had to do it all over again, I think they would double Reggie Wayne a little more and say, DHB, you have to beat us because you know that ain't going to happen. Based on what you saw from Woodson, he's 36 years old. He still has that swagger. He says he can play with the best of them. Does he have what it takes to be a major role player with this team, or are they going to have to count on some younger guys, the Hayden, the Porters, the Jenkins, for the remainder of the season, late in the season at that? Well, I saw Porter kind of struggle today. They went after him early in that game. Porter was kind of giving up a lot of pass receptions against Reggie Wayne, got a P.I. at a crucial time. I think that, yeah, when you look at this guy, what he bring Woods into the game, he is your defensive leader. He's got to keep guys in the right spot. That's what they got him there for, his leadership, not necessarily all of his play. Mm. As you know, though, Lo, the way you lead in the NFL... You don't get a hall pass as a leader because you were great last year, the great the last five years. You have to do it year in and year out. You can't just all of a sudden show up with a name. It's like Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott was one of the greatest leaders in the National Football League because he went out there and he knocked the crap out of people. The biggest games of the year, Monday Night Football, he came, he'd come up with the big interception, the big knockout blow. That's what Woodson has got to do to have that role as a leader. Other than Woodson, who's another candidate to have that role with this team, Bill? Roach. Nick Roach. Nick Roach. He, he made a lot of tackles today, but guess what? I need to see a couple of those big-time blows, big-time hits, because there's nothing on defense that wakes up people more than all of a sudden you go out there and hit somebody really hard, and all of a sudden the rest of the defensive guys are like, oh, lordy, this guy can bring the wood. <laughs> there were some moments in this game that pretty much surprised me, I have to admit, because last season the Raiders only had 25 sacks. They didn't put a lot of pressure on the quarterback, but it appeared Andrew Luck had a difficult time getting comfortable in the pocket sometimes today. They put some heat on him, Lo. Yeah, I like that. I like it for a couple reasons. What they did, they were able to move him off his point. A lot of guys think that, hey, you don't pressure guys like that. No, you don't let a pocket passer stay in the pocket. Make him move. Even though he's fast and he can run and throw the ball outside the pocket, get him off that point. Don't let him sit in the pocket and have all day, and they did that today. Yeah, and you know what got him off that point? Was coverage down the field. Mm. A lot of times, you know, we haven't had that luxury around here for quite a few years, but guess what? They had good coverage down the field. Other than Reggie Wayne early in the game, they solidified things. They got it fixed. Jason Tarver got that defense together, and they were really covering their butts off downfield. Well, the Oakland Raiders came up short, but one guy nearly carried the silver and black on his back, and that was Terrell Pryor. He's talking to reporters right now. Let's go back out to Indianapolis and hear from the Raiders QB. I'm angry with myself, uh, to be honest, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, some of the, a lot of mis mistakes I made today I can get better at and learn from. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm very proud of the offensive line. Uh, did a phenomenal job, you know. Uh, every, every play I made was because of them. Uh, having great leaders like Darren McFadden and uh, uh, Marcel Reese, uh, great being on the field, too, uh, making key blocks for me so I could get the ball. and. Uh, you know, it's I'm I'm kind of disappointed. I'm disappointed in myself uh, <clears throat> for one taking a sack in the red zone. 
Coach talks to me about that all the time, and uh, it's unacceptable. And uh, the loss is on me, and uh, we'll get better next week. What did you see on that sack? Uh, I just went through one progression, and I saw somebody coming in. But at the end of the day, I got to throw the ball away. And uh, I've been in them situations before and made the same mistake, and I can't make that same mistake. Uh, that's why I'm very disappointed. But you know what? At the end of the day, I learned a couple things today, and uh, I can put it in my in my bag of treats and uh, bring it out for next week, and uh, you know, keep learning. Bro, you guys folks probably in this showed. game really didn't give Oakland a chance, you know, to really try to contend here with with the Colts. Um, was that you guys? I'm sure you heard the noise coming in this game today, right? Absolutely, it doesn't matter, but you know, uh, it doesn't matter. I know in this locker room. Uh, it's kind of funny, you know, if you we can laugh at that uh, type of statement right there because we feel like every time we step on the field, we're going to have a chance, and we will. So uh, I, don't, I don't agree with any of them statements. You guys showed uh, the football world some things today that they maybe we're not expecting some of things. Yeah, we're tough. You we're guys, a tough football team. You tough yourself. defense, yeah. tough defense, tough offensive line, uh, tough runners, uh, great receivers that block downfield, get open, and they make tough catches. And uh, We're a tough football team. Coach preaches that all the time. and. And that's how we practice, you know. And uh, I'm very, I'm very, um, I'm happy with the team and uh, the way we competed today. Uh, no more victories, obviously. And uh, we gotta get better, and we will tomorrow. And uh, and the thing about this this team right here is just passion. You know, uh, guys have passion about the game. You know, uh, it wasn't acceptable. We didn't accept today that we lost. I know I didn't, and I know a lot of the guys. You know, they didn't. So I know they're gonna come in tomorrow and uh, expect. To, uh, to learn, you know, and look at the and critique yourself very crucial and, uh, and look at that film and understand what are we doing? What do we do wrong? And we need to fix this and because I hate losing period. First real start and, you know, Second start but your first real start. How do you think you did? How did you I did awful. I thought um, two interceptions um, Could have won the game uh, had them on the ropes down there and uh, It's all that matters um, the record's all that matters to me is being one to know, and uh, or whatever, whatever the record may be, you know. But with that 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 uh, number on the win column, and uh, that's all that matters to me. It's not about me. I don't. It doesn't matter how I play. I just want to do well for the team so we can uh, have success. And that's really it. Despite you know the loss, Coach Allen said after in the post game press conference, you won the job outright during the preseason. You had to keep it under wraps, and I know maybe you wanted to scream to the rooftops like I finally, you know, I'm a starter because you said this was your goal. I mean. Coming into this game, the emotions for you, were, are, is, are you excited that you outright, you know, won the job? Uh, it's really not about that. Um, me and Matt's teammates, uh, all the guys that are competing, you know, and at the end of the day, we're all for the same goal, the win. And uh, that's all I want to do is win. Is it a little more, uh, does it have a little, does it feel better that it's me that won? Yeah, absolutely, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm, you know, I'm not happy about it, but now it's time to go to work, you know, and um <clears throat> Today was unacceptable. You talked about learning from those mistakes, but how will you build on those positives? Because there were a lot out there today for you. Uh, I'll check out the positives. Uh, just keep trying to get better at the things that I, I do positive. Um, uh, I'm just very angry at myself about the, the, the interceptions. You know, uh, we had a chance. You know, uh, especially throwing the ball. I think the main thing right there, if I was right in your notepad, would be well, I didn't throw the ball away down there. I believe it was maybe first and ten after uh, D Darren. Uh, Demo caught that pass. I can't remember what happened, but I threw the ball away, and uh, so, uh, we'll get better. Um, I'm very eager to get get to work tomorrow. I'll be in there early and um, get better. Going into that final drive, were there nerves there, or were you excited that you had the opportunity? I wanted to dice them. I wanted to dice them, and I, nothing else came through my mind that I wasn't going to do it. Did you like the uh, resolve of this team? You guys go down 14 nothing. Oh, absolutely. It's a long game. Um, and like I said, I told you guys this before. Anytime I get on the field and I don't don't look right at his cocky because it's not. I feel like we're going we're gonna to have a chance and I feel like I'm the best on the field and we're going to make plays. And, and that's my job to do so and to get the ball, get the ball in the guy's hands. However, however I got to do it, I'm going to do it. And um, um, we got to get better. I got to get better. Um, um, this one's on me, definitely. This one's on me. How soon will you start breaking it down? Looking at either looking. At I'm gonna watch it as soon as I get on the plane, and uh, you know, probably sit there with Coach, uh, with Coach Olson, and um, jeez, man, we had him. Jeez. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs>
There's Raiders quarterback Terrell Pryor, who had over 200 yards passing, over 100 yards rushing. Team lost the game, and he said he thought he was awful. He said, hey, I'm angry with myself. He said that multiple times, and he's looking forward to getting back on the field again. He said, this one is on me. He thought the offensive line played extremely well, and he loved the blocking from Marcel Reese as well as Darren McFadden. Bill, what did you want to hear him say after the game? You know what? You know, Lowe and I were talking, and this guy said the right things. He had some awful plays. There's a difference between having some bad plays and playing awful. The guy was not awful, okay? He was the offense out there today, so I disagree with that statement, but I like what he came back with, that I'm going to work hard. Okay, he took accountability, and that's what you like to hear from an athlete. I hold myself accountable. I could have done better, and I'm going to work hard next week, Lo, and that's what you want to hear. No question. When you listen at this young man and you hear the passion in his voice, the things that he said, I, I agree to disagree. I look at Luck. Luck was third down, a fourth down play. They do a boot. He's outside the pocket on third down. Why didn't he throw the ball away? He kept the ball. Mm. See, and I look at this young man. He's in the pocket. If he throws the ball away there in the pocket, it's intentional grounding, lost it down. So when you look at it, it's just so happening. It's a little bit more magnified when you lose a close game. I thought overall this guy played well. Um, I think that he can improve, and it's good that he's putting pressure on himself. And it's great that Dennis Allen isn't patting him on the back because I'm telling you right now, some guys can't handle that. you got to keep the throttle down, especially with a team that you have a bunch of misfits, the bad news bears. But now guys are saying, i got one-year deals here. Let me play to show that we are better than what everyone else thinks we are. I like what he said at the end of that interview. We almost had him. You can we tell are. he's and eager to get back in his that field. Eye, didn't he? Absolutely. He, he, that's what it is. You love that enthusiasm. That's what the young guys bring, and a guy that can make plays. And people will feed off of that. And you need that for your from your quarterback. When we come back, more live reporting from Indianapolis. Our Raiders insider Scott Bear is standing by to join us with the latest scoop on the silver and black. Hang with us. We'll be right back with Raiders post.